Hey, welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about free tempo recording. We know that Logic Pro just set up a new update for us. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, people are talking about it, but I want to go over some details. Free tempo recording, brand new feature. If you want help understanding it, go into the help tag and you can read a little bit more about this new technology based on machine learning. Uh, I want to give you two scenarios. The when, the what, the why would you use this? So uh, I've got a drum set here and free tempo recording is available inside of the control bar. So if you want to customize, you can enable it inside of the transport uh, menu here. Uh, and then of course, once you save it, you might want to save this as a default. So you don't have to keep making these decisions every single time. That being said, I want to play a beat, but not necessarily kind of overthink the BPM. So let's listen to our reference here. All right, your standard 120. And let me play a beat over this now. There is a key command associated, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit the icon here. So uh, playing without a tempo reference. Okay, you're met with this menu, and the gist of it is, what would you like to do? Would you like the region to dictate what the BPM is? Not, in this case, I want the project tempo to tell the region what to do, which is, hey, get in line, let's do 120 BPM. I will apply that, and you can see, just like butter, everything lined up quite perfectly. Uh, I'm going to quantize. This time, I'll do it inside of this contextual menu, just to kind of change things up. I'm always trying to like challenge myself to learn this program uh, to the best of my ability. And if I shift this over, hit colon, bring that over to the left side, uh, the last thing you want to do is to is make sure that these regions are a perfect length, like two bars, four bars. And in order to do that, you need to understand the snap to grid system. Um, I talk about this extensively in my courses, and you can check those out on Skillshare, on Udemy. Uh, some of them are still free, in fact. But now this is a perfect four bars. And so when I hit command, you create a cycle region. Okay, so that's probably the most basic usage. And look, I'm not claiming that I know everything here. I'm just giving you uh, some information that I've gathered thus far. So something else to think about is what if you can't play it that fast uh, and you still want the flexibility of being able to play? So this time I'm going to purposefully play this a little slower. Uh, I have noticed that this is very much sensitive to when you start. So I'm going to do my best to start at bar two or bar three at the latest. So I'm going to hit record. I'm going to watch the playhead. And I'm going to play this significantly slower. Um, so I'm going to try and go. Yeah. Let's see if I can pull this off. Again, same concept here. I'm going to hit apply. And now this is starting to kind of take shape. Again, I will quantize accordingly. I usually always start with 16th notes. And let me see if I can resize this. All right. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Let's try it out. Again, super crucial that you have a perfect integer. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at the help tag. Uh, when I click and hold on the region, it says, hey, the length is two bars, zero beats, zero divisions, and uh, 10 ticks. And again, this is all in my classes if you want to check those out. And so you got to be very careful and make sure that this is a perfect bar, two bars, four bars, whatever it is. So let me just adjust that. All right, you want this to be uniform. Why? Because when you start to create duplicates, like I'm about to do right now, everything is kosher. I'm going to shift over into the world of audio and utilize this free tempo recording feature, which obviously is just an extension of smart tempo and adapt tempo. And so I've got a guitar next to me here. I'm going to record enable it. And... The same thing applies. Uh, maybe you can't play the part fast enough or you simply don't want to think about tempo. So I'm just going to play a simple little part. 
Uh, and I'm going to start on the downbeat of three. Here we go. We'll start this process back up. We'll say, hey, uh, I want this to conform to the song tempo. Let me chop this up. Let's see what we get here. So the reason this is happening is because the technology is utilizing the, the flex tech. And so if I go into rhythmic, this may even sound a little bit better. Uh, could probably even benefit from a little bit of quantization. Okay, so that's something that would be obvious to a lot of users. But what if I couldn't play that fast? What if I wanted to play it significantly slower? I think this is where this really shines. So I'm going to hit here. Uh, let me see if I can get a temporal. Okay, so again, click, and I'll start at bar two this time. All right, let's get this to line up. Remember, I started at bar two. I think that's probably the smartest thing that you can possibly do is start on a downbeat. Give yourself the best chance at success. Perfect four bars here, and let's take a listen. And while I have you, obviously we can utilize the new Logic Stomp Boxes. Just go to Amps and Pedals, individual Stomp Boxes. And why don't we just go with, uh, yeah, let's just go with Double Dragon. Let's see what this sounds like. Here we go. Cool. Thank you so much for watching. Check out Free Temple Recording. If there's anything that you learn that I don't know, I don't claim to know everything. I'm just a student of the game. In fact, I'm such a deep student of the game that my mentor has released his new book, Logic Pro 10.7.5. His name is Edgar Rothermich. He is perhaps the greatest Logic Pro mind in existence today. Go check out his video on his channel. And um, I also recommend his book that just came out. You can find it on Amazon and all the other platforms. Uh, if there's any questions, any comments, go ahead and hit me up. I'm going to keep making content. God bless. Stay up. Stay happy. We'll see you later.